Christmas is coming, the kids are getting fat. Please put a cover in the old man's hat. Yay! <laughs> Hi, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Uguchi Vivian Ukai. If this is your first time here or if you have not subscribed, please subscribe. And I hope you like this video. And at the end of the video or while you're watching it, please click on the like button. Click, click, click. Thank you very much. So, winter is here. It's another time of the year. And it's finally here. And some people love it. Some people hate it. I don't really know many black people that love it or many Africans, but either way, it's one of those things we have to go through. So I'm here to give you tips on how to survive the winter. And um, bear in mind that I'm talking mostly about um, Canadian winter, particularly Quebec winter, but you can apply it according to the cold weather in your own area. So you know that saying, the higher you go, the colder it becomes. That saying has been true for me, like literally, like the higher I've gone in my career, the colder the places I've lived in. Like it's just, I've moved from Nigeria to Ghana, to the UK, to to England, um, to Vancouver, and now to Quebec where the cold, the winter can be quite harsh. So my tips for preparing for winter are, are simple. And these are tips that I've learned over the years by living in different places particularly in Montreal. So my number one tip, be mentally prepared. Yes, because sometimes people tend to live in denial. You know that winter is coming, yet you don't do anything about it. You just sit down at home. You, you're like, no, the winter will never come. You have to you have to tell yourself the winter will come and that will help you to like it won't help you physically but it will just help you mentally because people easily get this depressed during the winter and you don't want to feel depressed or lonely during the winter so you want your to be in a in a great mental space okay and another way to get yourself mentally prepared is by checking the weather forecast every day before you leave your house because sometimes depending on where you live the weather can fluctuate easily so you need to check so that before you step out of your house you know that it's gonna rain you know that it's gonna snow you know that there's going to be a hailstorm believe me like one of the first winter storms i faced here i i knew it was good there was gonna be winter storm it was on a sunday but i was like nothing's gonna stop me from going to church so i went to church and by the time i came out of church, church first of all church was empty and then i came out of church this storm started it was like pushing me like it was so heavy that I couldn't even walk i had to run into a cafe and i just started crying it was painful i i remember telling god i was like you have to put this in in the good books for me like that i came to church in this weather so yeah you have to be mentally prepared um for winter and that will help you along the way okay um number two get appropriate winter clothing so i just recently switched my summer clothes to winter clothes because the weather has become cold as i said and for winter the things the key things that you need are jackets and boots and some accessories so um i would say boots are the most important to me because you want good shoes where the the snow when it's melted doesn't get your your feet doesn't get wet your feet don't get wet right like you don't you don't want water to get through the the boots and also for um other things i feel like you can buy second hand but boots I would recommend you don't because you don't know if there's like a hole in the boots and then if you wear it when you start walking then water will enter so you want to buy boots you want to invest your money in buying good boots and um for depending on where you are for very harsh winters where the temperature can go down to as minus 20 you need to get very very strong boots like they ride the weather on the boots so just check how far the weather can go your, your boot weather can go because inside is insulated you can also get extra insulators to put inside the boots so those are important as well so and those boots are usually ugly but who cares about fashion during the winter nobody well i don't i care about my comfort and i hope you do too so get yourself good boots you can get yourself coats in terms of coats um there are different types of coats depending on your budget so i have some props for you today so this one is very light because it has um goose feathers inside it's called down coat so they're usually light but expensive okay so if you can't afford this you can get thicker coats um that are heavier like this one this one's like synthetic but it's also warm it's not as warm as the other one but it's also warm so you can start with with um buying um 
less expensive coats and layering up inside so wearing uh, uh, maybe a tank top and then a sweater but be careful you don't want to there's there's a limit to how much you can lay out but otherwise you'll be looking ridiculous like you just look like you're about to burst so um you can lay out but just just um budget for coats accordingly and buy things small by small like even that other coat i showed you the expensive one i not buy it though somebody dashed me my friend dashed me mongland so anyway so coats are another one then of course um things like sweaters you know you can get cardigans those things to help out with winter then scarves oh gosh scarves are so important they are very important during the cold weather when you put nobody will tell you by the time you put scarf around your neck the difference it will make the warmth it will give you ah your life will recharge so scarves are very important you can get ones like this where you can double wear them or you can get regular normal scarves even pashmina as you know and you just um put them around your neck and tie them up and you're good to go so try to get some scarves gloves are another important thing for me i like having mittens i also have like regular gloves yeah but this ones because they're individual hand stuff they don't keep as warm um so meetings are better where the hand whatever is, is is joined together the fingers so that they can warm each other up so they are important um during the winter and i think that is that is important during the winter your your beanie hats you need hats now with my hair i can't really wear hats but but they are very important and you need something that is big enough to cover your ears because your ears can freeze during the winter even your face I um what I try to do is I try to buy something I don't know if you can see is um wool inside so that is warm enough because if you just buy the regular ones where there's no wool inside air can penetrate and it won't keep you warm enough so those are some things that you can buy you can also buy stuff to just cover your ears directly if you don't want to wear a hat maybe if you have enough hair on your head I just feel sorry for the bald people during winter like i can't imagine the breeze because when i was on low cuts during winter it was as if my brain was freezing so i just wonder for those people who are who don't have hair at all so this one too you just put it around your ear and you'll cover your ear now my head's too big so you cannot enter but something like that so those are some things that you can use for winter there are thermal wears too like there's thermal wear top thermal wear um bottom that you can wear inside and it, it, they make great difference trust me okay so get appropriate winter clothing that was my number two tip um so my number three tip remember that cold is relative hmm? and what do i mean i mean that when you're feeling cold somebody else might not be feeling as cold you don't know where the person came from you don't know if the person is from the land of the eskimos you are from a hot place in africa so don't compare yourself to other people because believe me in during the um during the winter you're likely to question your mental health like because you will see people wearing bomb shorts during the winter i'm telling this minus degrees centigrade i'm talking about people will be wearing bomb shorts you will now be wondering what is happening i remember seeing there was a, a newspaper headline um in quebec where i think the headline was something like is it really cold in montreal or are people faking it and the, and the the headline like had like people wearing like shorts you don't know if they drank alcohol you don't know you don't know how they are keeping warm so don't follow them don't follow them don't do fashion just think about yourself during the winter okay any way that they want to dress them just like that plus like i said there are different types of coats different types of boots so you don't know if there's like the short thing they're wearing is like really insulated i remember one of my friends she used to say oh i don't use gloves in winter i don't use hair bands or anything the day i put my hand inside her pocket the pocket of her jacket it was as if my hand was inside a heater so you can imagine why she doesn't use gloves right but me i have to use gloves so those kind of things and also if you have like a, um, a jacket that has good hoodie that is also thick enough because if it's not thick enough the wind will blow it away because sometimes it's really windy so if you have jacket with good hoodie that could be an additional benefit so bear that in mind don't compare yourself to anybody during winter okay mm -hmm. active go out and i know it seems it sounds counterintuitive like 
how can someone say go out when it's snowing when it's winter when it's cold but believe me if you leave around where i live winter sometimes is five to six months ask anybody if you think i'm lying anybody that lives in quebec it can be five to six months are you going to be inside your house for the whole time i remember my first time here i was like mm, i'm not going to come out i'm going to just stay inside my house nothing is going to make me come out the more you stay inside your house the longer the, the days like they'll just be dragging dragging and that's where you can now get depressed but if you go out to do something fun i mean now it's covid 19 pandemic time so you can't really go out and meet people unfortunately but before like if you like if you try to take up some winter sports even if you hate them like you try and do skiing i tried skiing skating just going out to restaurants even taking walks like you have to be careful but like i took walks did all sorts of things and time flew by compared with the first time where i decided that i was going to stay at home so try to be active go out do stuff that will help you um fill in your time and the time will go by much faster so number five car can carry out healthy practices okay so what i mean is eat healthy i cannot stress the importance of citrus fruits during this time so your tangerines your oranges your lemons your clementines your grapefruits take lots and lots of them because you want your um, immune system to be boosted to fight against um, flu and all sorts of diseases during this time because people are sneezing this is when people start to sneeze and all sorts of things happen so eat well exercise well whatever kind of exercise that you like to do dancing jumping walking just do it just do stuff that will, that will keep your your mind and your body healthy and fit and then bonus um tip number six black eyes matters okay so just like black lives matter remember that black eyes matters so in case you don't know what black eyes is black eyes is when there's no snow, snow falls and then when this when snow falls there's no problem oh. the snow is soft and fluffy it's when the snow starts to melt it starts to melt and then it becomes very slippery and do you know why it's dangerous not just that it's slippery it becomes transparent or black so you can't see it and then the next thing you see is sliding first people are falling during winter flying all over it's really really bad and it's dangerous imagine falling i mean at my age i don't want to fall so imagine being older than me and falling mm -mm. so remember that black eyes matters okay so what a tip for that is um i got under under boot spikes somebody recommended that to me and i had never heard of it before so there are spikes where you just put under your boots and they kind of crush the ice as you're working on it you still have to walk slowly but it's much better than walking without them and it's annoying to walk with but it's it's still safer so if so my main tip for avoiding black eyes is to follow the person in front of you to give yourself some distance between yourself and the person in front of you if they don't fall then follow their exact footsteps and that's how you walk because the mistake that some people make is that they don't they they avoid footsteps and then they see a clean supposedly clean surface and they're like okay i'll walk on that one not knowing that it's black eyes and then that's how they fall so follow the person in front of you that's all i'll say and these are my tips for surviving winter i hope you learned something today and if you have any tips please share them i would love to hear them so until next time thank you so much for listening don't forget to subscribe to like the video and check out my previous videos catch up with all the ones i put up and see you next time bye Mwah.